All right, guys, so we are back. Uh, we have some hockey news here. Now, I really don't post hockey videos anymore personally, but I thought this would be a cool video to post because it is that time of year. Hockey season is around the corner, so I thought this would be a perfect post kind of at the perfect time. I am so excited to watch hockey again. I know I don't post it as much, but Mike Babcock, guys, is let go uh, by the Columbus Blue Jackets. Apparently, he's resigning, according to Elliot Friedman, uh, this afternoon which is pretty crazy. Now, the, this whole thing is just bizarre. So apparently Paul Bissonnette was the first one to come out and pretty much say, hey guys, you know, Mike Babcock is going through players' phones, blah, blah, blah. You know, obviously Columbus was investigating it. The league was investigating it. And, you know, Jenner and Johnny Gaudreau pretty much came out and said, hey, there was really nothing to it, blah, blah, blah. Things kind of started to die down. And then all of a sudden another report came out that the younger players, so the veterans were Jenner and Gaudreau, the younger players were not comfortable with it. So then the story got brought up again. And here we are. Mike Babcock's let go. This is crazy though to me because Babcock didn't even make it to training camp. Training camp literally starts this week. <laughs> like who is going to be the head coach of the Columbus Blue Jackets? But the whole thing is bizarre. I mean, Mike Babcock, uh, there's guys who've won Stanley Cups with him. There's guys who won Olympic gold medals with him. And a lot of players still do not, still absolutely hate this guy. They do not like him. <laughs> like you look at Bill Belichick, right? Um, Bill Belichick has won at every level, but guys have always said good things about Bill Belichick in football. But like Mike Babcock, no, everyone still hates this guy, even when they've won at the highest level. <laughs> so I feel for Columbus Blue Jackets fans, man. Um, I think the reasoning behind Columbus hiring a guy like Matt, Mike Babcock, they wanted some accountability back in their organization. Now, when John Tortorella was there, uh, when he was there with the Columbus Blue Jackets, there was tons of accountability, tons of it. Now, all of a sudden, John Tortorella gets let go. They bring in Brad Larson, and they felt like they lost that accountability, and they thought bringing in Mike Babcock would kind of bring that back. And he's gone. <laughs> so the fact he didn't even make it to training camp is pretty crazy to me. And I remember when Paul Bissonnette came out with this, I didn't even believe Biz. I didn't. I, I, I thought, you know, this was smoke. I did. I truly did. I just thought it was Mike Babcock. You know, he's an old-fashioned coach. You know, he wants to see pictures of, like, people's families on their phone. And apparently he put, like, pictures families and stuff on a, on a big screen. Yeah, that's weird as shit. You don't do that. But apparently that's what he's been doing. So... The whole thing's weird. Like you, you just you can't do that with certain players, and especially like in today's world, this used to be type of just the type of things you would get away with back in the day. Now you're not going to get away with this. So the fact that he put players, families, and kids on a big screen and they were going over things, it's just a weird way to get to know someone personally. But I, in the beginning, I thought Biz was. This was all smoke. You know, I didn't really think anything of it. But now, with all this information coming out, holy shit, this is weird. <laughs> so, there it is. Um, I, I'm trying to even think who's still out there that can maybe coach, uh, can be the next head coach of this team. But I'll tell you what, with camp only being a week away and them not having a coach is going to be tough. Because... Usually it takes time for head coaches to kind of figure out what they're going to do in camp, what kind of drills they're going to do. Now they don't have anyone, and I, I don't know what's going to happen. This is huge news, huge news. So trying to see if there's any other information on this personally with, uh, you know, with Elliot Friedman. Um, so here's the actual post. Mike Babcock resigns as head coach of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Um yeah, so apparently Pascal Vincent is named head coach, whoever that is. So the the whole thing is crazy. And look, somebody posted right there, so this was a quick search. Happy uh, for Pascal. Um, but you know what? Somebody posted here, Yarmo should be out too. Like if I'm the owner of the Columbus Blue Jackets, I am pissed off. Pissed off. Like, you 
Mike Babcock, when he was getting interviewed, he was already like a controversial like name. Like there was a reason teams didn't hire this guy. So I don't know even who Pascal Vincent is, but he's named head coach, which is crazy. Um, I, I don't, I, I don't even know. I, I, I don't know. So this was a quick search, but Yarmo, that might he should be gone too. You have to really do your homework when you're hiring such a big name like this and. Oh, just a shame in general, but, oh, here's the recent news. So, guys, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Um, I thought they would look kind of more out there, but I guess not. They already have their head coach, which is pretty bizarre to me. So, we'll see how this all plays out. Camp is literally like five days away, which makes this even worse. So, guys, I'll check you guys all later. Have a great day. And let me know what you guys think on this whole situation. What a bizarre situation. Peace.